Give them an edge of protection. Give them, Lord God, a spirit of hope. Prayers for peace. That in the end, it shall be well. And candles burning bright, all to bring light to the darkness of war in Ukraine being felt around the world. It's heartbreaking to see what's happening in our world. It's horrendous and it's all unnecessary. My heart is broken. Richmonders gathered in Monroe Park for clergy from across the city to lead the vigil. This is a, a, a crisis that we have to come together and to pray. I don't care if you're Baptist or Pentecostal or Methodist. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. We are called to pray. In between prayers. We know you're praying for the people of Ukraine, that your, your, your spirit hand is out to support and to love these folks who are fighting for their lives. They paid honor to Ukraine through song. As they close things out, they ask for silence, leaving folks to pray for healing and the horrors to end. I think we always need to pray. And I honestly think in this situation, there's so much evil in this world and prayer is really the only thing that's going to get rid of this <laughs> situation. Now, there are many ways you can directly donate to Ukraine. You can head over to our website for the details.